got ourselves here when a lot of people thought that we couldn't. It just shows how much heart we have and how competitive we are, really. Our energy, our chemistry, you know, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever experienced. We have each other's backs. Win or lose, just know that uh, this team's work extremely hard, really tough. This team has really showed that we can fight, and we just really trusted ourselves and trusted in our offense, trusted in our pitchers. I'm just going to go out there and compete like everyone in the nation knows that I can compete. Now we're so close that we're just going to close out and win it again. We were the underdog in 05, even though we were ranked number one. I love being the underdog, but our goal is to just play it one pitch at a time. You can't sit on your hands. You just got to take some chances, take some risks, and go out there and play uh, play hard. It's crazy, um, and I think it'll be even crazier tonight. It's just finally becoming real. Like we're in the national championship. We're going to go out there and realize it's just another game of something. From Hall of Fame Stadium in Oklahoma City, welcome to the NCAA Women's College World Series Championship Finals. Tonight it's winner take all in game three with Michigan, the top home run hitting lineup in the country, and Florida, ranked number one for most of the year and driven by the National Player of the Year. Already in our series will the defending champion Gators. They took game one on Monday, three to two. Lauren Hager with a home run. She drove in all three runs. And then last night, Michigan, the one nothing winner. They scored in the first inning and made it stick. Haley Wagner was fantastic. Here's the one, two. Medina's got it at short. One down. Gets one out over the plate. Fuller stays down on it over the first. Two down. One one pulls that foul and out of play. Continue to flock to Oklahoma City. Coming strike three. Up in the zone and Hager got her. Three up and three down inside the batter's box when you make contact. And that one comes inside and hits her. Well, and that's what she didn't do yesterday. She issued no free passes yesterday, and it really helped out her game. Does drop it down. Mata Morano going to go to second, and Stewart is in safe. They try to get the lead runner. Two on with nobody out for the Gators. Yeah, they try to come back inside to get her out. Hager back up the middle. Romero couldn't get to it. Stewart waving her around and headed for home. And safe at third is Nicole DeWitt. And Lauren Hager drives in another one. One nothing Gators. They could have walked Hager. 2-2 two, two to Fuller. Pops it up. Mono Morale has it. And there's the one out there we're looking for. And she needs to locate it where she did that last pitch. Drops it down, fair ball, the tag applied, but it was missed, and then the throw down to get the second out. I'm curious why the bunt goes down. Out to left, and that will drop, base hit. One run is in, Hager coming to the plate, slides in safe as Sweet could not handle the throw, and it's 3-0 Florida. Well, and I guess that's why the bunt goes down, because they moved Lauren Hager into scoring position. Jammed up here, but Merritt just muscles it into the outfield. And it's just going to dump in front of Christner. The throw comes home, but Lauren Sweet has an opportunity to make the play. And late. She's getting in, looking for that curveball in the inside part of the plate. Wagner will take it herself. The backhand over to first. Side retired. Two solid of short, Medina gets a nice hop on it, one down. Don't think that way. No. They think that they can get it back with one swing. You press. Sweet fly ball out to Justine McLean. Two down. Manorano went uh, 0 for 2 yesterday. And the grounder again to Medina. Flawless at short with a couple of opportunities here in the second. Been wearing that throughout this Women's College World Series. A couple of hot 
to third. Montemarano throws it in the right. McLean going for second to throw. Won't get her. Runner in scoring position for Florida at the bottom of the order. I think it all comes down to timing. If yep. you have a shot, you go after. If you don't, you go to first. Monroe squares. The bunt is down. The play is to first. Three-two pitch, and she delivers. Four-nothing, Florida. And Stewart's going to head for second, and she slides in safely. All the energy right now with the Gators. No. And they're going to say that hit Nicole DeWitt. Toes are point. Look where her body is square. And that comes into Lauren Hager. Third hit batter. And the strikeout for Megan Betza. Chases the rise. Betza. A couple of strikeouts. Florida gets a run in, but they leave them loaded. And the defending champs in the driver's seat behind Lauren Hager. Raise awareness for that as well, Heather Braswell. And now Haley Wagner. Bronco, the freshman from Huntington Beach, California. And that hit her as well. Off, it, it, it changes a little bit of the game. Yeah. Ramirez strikes out. One down, got her with a changeup. to pop it up. Schwartz with room. Two down with Romero coming up. Lays off it. Draws the walk and the bases are loaded and Michigan will bring the tying run to the plate with two out. One two from Hager. Struck her out. Michigan loads him up. And then leaves him that way. She had the game-winning RBI for them yesterday in the one-nothing win. Now to left, DeWitt has it. One down. One two to sweep. Got another one. Two down. Almost in the same location. You see the same pitch twice in the same location. You got to be aggressive on it. Montemarano grounds to Stewart. Three up and three down for Hager. 3-2 from Betza. Roster. Let's check in with Holly. Well, the advice that Billy Donovan gave Tim Walton on how to repeat is, you know, the second year he said, I came back. I thought we had to work harder, grind longer. He said, what I realized halfway through the year is nobody was having fun. We were playing tight. It was awful. He said, what I've learned is trust your process. Trust what got you there the first time and stop and enjoy the moments. Those moments were laser tag for one day here on their day off in Oklahoma City. They had a bowling party to put the championship behind them and focus on the new year. So Tim Walton has done a really nice job of stopping, enjoying the moments along the way to this repeat opportunity. Celebrated the championship earlier this year. Check swing from Stuart Montemarano to second for one. That's all they'll get. Played you at your park. Here's the 2-1. Stewart's going to be on the move. Called strike three. Ford trying to drop it down with two outs and the throw to first. Just 179 against the Gators. And that came right in on the hands of Wagner and the pop-up caught. Moving him back even as the pitch is starting to come. And gets the base hit through the left side. Try to mess up their timing through the box. 2-2 to Ramirez. Blocked by Medina, but everybody will be safe as she was going for that 5-6 hole, and they do. Lawrence going out to right McLean. Come on to make the catch. Two down. Romero drills it back up the middle. Merritt's throw back to the infield is cut and sliding in safely at home is Tara Blanco. 
game here in the national championship. Kristner towering drive out to center, just got under it. Couple left on for Michigan, but the Wolverines put one on the board. Romero drove in the run for Michigan. 12th pitch of this at bat. And gets the strikeout, the throw down to Ramirez. And the stolen base for Merritt. And the strikeout. Slow roller down to first, and there won't be anywhere to go with it for Blanco. Runners on the corners. And another strikeout for Betts over third of the inning. A couple left stranded, but Florida still up three. Sala with the fly ball out to center. Kirsty Merritt has it. Let's check in with Holly. Will it be Lauren Sweet to get something started? Slow grounder to Stewart. Double clutched, but still got her at the bag. Two outs. Vargas. And that will drop over the head of Medina. And the pinch hitter on board with two outs. It was after Wagner before Romero would get a chance. And Wagner gets hit again. 2-2 Two -two to short. Medina will fire to first. Got her. The Gators with a three-run lead. They're three outs away in their final appearance at Florida for Lauren Hager. It's going to be my last day in the gear uniform, win or lose, and I think that is special. And I'm just going to go out there and compete like everyone in the nation knows that I can compete. 2-0 to Stewart. And another hit by pitch. And the strikeout for Betzo, the throwdown. Stewart with her second swipe of the night. And it hits Fuller. The bases are loaded now for Florida. Start the game and now re-entering. Merritt infield pop up and Sweet's got it. Slow roll to Romero. She'll apply the tag. Side retired. Florida three outs away from a second national championship in a row. Can the Gators celebrate again in Oklahoma City? against the National Player of the Year. Ramirez, infield hit for Abby. Wow. Cold strike three. One down. Grounded to Medina to Stewart for one. No throw over the first two outs. And it's the last chance for Michigan. Grounder to first. Schwartz steps on the bag. The Florida Gators win back-to-back -back national championships. The dog pile at Hall of Fame Stadium for the second year in a row. And Lauren Hager and the Gators will hoist the championship trophy. Four to one the final. She gets the win. Drove in a run. And as the Florida Gators win the third SEC title in the last four years and they win two in a row four to one the final over the Michigan Wolverines and that trophy will head back to Gainesville John and John chomp it chomp it only thing better than one two yeah